Yes. Hello, sexual soul. So honestly, when people say, what is your sexual soul? What does that mean? I like to be a little coy and ask them what they feel that may mean. But I know we're not in that situation right now. Although really, the sessions that I'm going to be leading and the workshop are about that very personal inquiry to turn that question to oneself and say, what is my sexual soul? Do I have a sexual soul? How do I experience my sexual soul? What would my sexual soul like to experience from me? What has my sexual soul been trying to communicate to me that I haven't been willing to see or to listen? Um, and so I love I love this idea of approaching sex and sexuality. First of all, um, I come from a Taoist perspective in my teaching. And in Taoism, our sexual energy is synonymous with our life force energy. It is our creative energy. It is the energy that comes into being at the moment of our conception. And if you think about the incredible creative act of making another human being, our that happens, of course, through sexual act, and then our our essence, our DNA, our egg, our sperm meet to create a new thing, a new sexual being that has its own essence. And so whether or not you talk about our sexual energy literally in terms of sex, it is the energy that makes us creators in the same way that biblically we hear that God is the creator and created us in God's image. That's how I think of it. And you can take that just as a metaphor, if nothing else, we are creators and it is this essence energy that, um, fuels our unique creativity and our unique gifts. So all that is to say that this energy and this part of you, which I see as a soul, as an aspect of one's innate being that is alive, that wants to express, that wants to play, that wants to create, um, that it shouldn't be compartmentalized. It shouldn't be compartmentalized to the bedroom. It shouldn't be compartmentalized by shame. Um, and that when we shut it down or oppress it, tamp it down, ignore it, we do so at the peril of our souls, this deep part of ourself that came here to express in some very unique way. Um, and it can be daunting to look at this energy and really turn towards what our sexual soul is, is asking of us or wants to experience because we may have formed our personalities, our, we may have set up our lives in such a way with a very different intention as we've tried to ignore or, or push away this energy. And so it has the potential to upset the apple cart. And yet there is a certain point where it becomes too painful to turn away from it, or it's just too delicious to ignore it anymore. Um, and I say that again, it can mean sexually delicious. It can just mean the deliciousness of enjoying life and experiencing pleasures, both small and large. <laughs> 